Hey everyone, Josh here with North Face Construction. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about underlayment options. There are two main categories in regards to underlayment. You have the choice between a synthetic underlayment or your standard tar paper or asphalt based underlayment. Some call this felt paper. The main difference between synthetic and tar paper slash felt asphalt based is just how it's manufactured. First off, this is an asphalt based product. It has an actual paper. It rips easily. Um, this is more of a fabric than anything, so it doesn't tear very easily. Almost like a high quality tarp or like a, uh, what you've seen is like a Tyvek underlayment for siding. Most siding underlayments are synthetic. Pros for synthetic felt is new. It takes one roll of synthetic felt to cover a thousand square feet versus one roll of tar paper to cover just over 400 square feet. So the efficiency of the material staging and execution installation, there is a difference. Um, another pro to synthetic is resistant to wear and tear a little bit more. So as you can see, me trying to tear it, it doesn't happen as easy. Me you know, rubbing my, my shoe on here. It's not actually damaging the integrity of the underlayment. Because during a roofing process, there's a lot of foot traffic, a lot of moving around, things getting dropped, such as hammers. Just from the wear and tear aspect of me hitting this with a hammer, that's not, it's not fully damaging the integrity of this product, which people drop stuff, you walk on it, all that jazz. On the tar paper underlayment, we broke through here, here, here. These are leaks. If your roof has to sit for any extended period of time during construction and there's moisture, it's gonna leak. Some cons to synthetic is the installation and handling. A lot of people are not used to utilizing it, so they'll use a staple hammer or tack hammer like this to try to staple this in. That is not right. Having a contractor that understands the installation procedures is very important when you're upgrading to a product like this. Um, Typically, on the install of these, you need to use a plastic cap nail. This is a ring shank plastic cap nail. A plastic cap staple also works. Um, so these get installed. Uh, I have a magnetic hammer each, to each their own. There's also uh, stinger staplers, which feed it as you go. This is the right way to do it. Don't use staples on your synthetic. So there are some pros to felt. Like I said, this is tried and true. And you can get thicker profiles. This is a 15 pound. You can also get a 30 pound. You can also double layer this stuff. You can, this is tried and true. This is installed on most roofs. So this is not a bad product at all. However, there is room for error on here. It cuts easily, which is a good thing for installation, but a bad thing for leak prevention. Another benefit to felt is, is economical. You can find it at most box stores and it's your cheapest option for a code compliant underlayment. It is recommended, at least by professionals, to install with the plastic cap nails as well. However, it makes it a little bit cumbersome at times and not as quick for some people. It is okay to install with staples. However, in regards to wind resistance, and stuff like that, it's not going to perform as well as if you have a plastic cap nail. As you can see, it's much harder when you're trying to pull through a plastic cap nail. As I talked about some of the cons on the felt, it rips, there's room for more user error, um, and just can't uh, resist as much wear and tear. If you want synthetic on your house, typically it's a small upgrade cost if you already had asphalt, but that depends on the product that you're using. This is a uh, synthetic felt by GAF Materials Corporation. There's many other products out there that are at many different price points. Us personally at North Face, we try to only install synthetic um, just because the peace of mind for us and the homeowner, it reduces the risk across the board for us and the homeowner, which we feel like is the best way to approach uh, the value proposition. So summarizing your choices of underlayment options, you typically have two styles that you can choose from, a synthetic or a standard tar paper. So now you know the pros and cons to both of those, so make an educated decision on your next home remodeling project. Josh here with North Face Construction. Have a good one.